What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Post Sem Fishing. We're not fishing today. These days have been pretty hectic for me, not getting as much time as to go out any water as I would like. But today I'm going to have a video I haven't done for a long time. I'm going to give you an update on my gears. Specifically, all the reels that I have and currently use. I haven't done one of these videos for a long, long, long time. We started watching the videos way back in 2017 when I started to post on YouTube to now things have changed quite a lot. So I think it was time a couple of people asked as well um, to give an update on the gears. So today is going to be the reels that I have with you. I would like to run a run, run, run real video as well, but that might take too long. So today we're just going to be the reels. Right? So quick video and I'm going to show you each reel that I have or what I currently have or what I currently use them for and if I recommend them for you. Right? So starting off right away, let me introduce you to this guy if you're new to the channel. This reel right here is a Shimano Spirex. This was the first reel I had using on the channel when I started the YouTube channel in 2017. Now at the time, I love this reel. I caught a lot of fish with this reel. Snook, tap one, cavalli, anything. This was my only reel that I had at the time that I was actively using. This one reel. I mean, it served pretty well. It, it lasted quite a while, but then it dragged. It ended up um, trying to give some issues. I think it got wet, got some salt inclusion in it. So it kind of went off the rails. But this reel, as I started off to use it, I loved it. I always recommend it when people ask me. I didn't have um, much experience with other reels, but this one definitely served me well. And I loved it. After that, uh, I think the first reel I bought after that was this one right here. It's a tiny small rod because this is why I'm using the kayak still. This is a Casking Sharky Shriek. I bought this on Amazon. Um, I bought it because the price, I was not going to spend too much money. I was looking for something salt water resistant because I do mostly salt water fishing. And this one came pretty well recommended. As you can see, it's still going today. So 2017, maybe 2018, I would have bought this one. And this, and now it's 2022, and this has gotten a lot of abuse. Still used on the kayak, still uses all the time, so water hits it and still going strong. So this is a 4000 size, I believe. I think most of the reels I have is a 4000 size. So this one, I think is a perfect starter reel. If you don't want to spend too much. Um, it's good for laws, artificials. It's also good for like what I use on the kayak for. It's good for like banking and uh, for, for sh um, in short shallow places. So if you just want to try something on Amazon, um, you can probably try this one. I think what I bought it was about 45 US, um, which is not bad at all um, for a real, uh, this kind of quality and build like I said has lasted for so long. All you do after is just wash it off. So for all the reels I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the description where you can get them. Most of them, are, uh, some of them I got online, others I got by Mr. Monkey, the Monkey Stackle Shop. But I'll still put a link in the description if you want to get it online. So moving on from the Casking Sharky Tree, as this reel I got right here. This is a Pen Pursuit 3 4000 size reel. I got this by Mr. Monkey. This reel, the rod and reel combo, I think it was a pretty good price at the time. Uh, the 7 foot rod, which I still use till this day. I caught two of my best, or three of my best snook on that, that rod. The rod is fantastic for the price. The reel has done pretty well as well. I caught my biggest snook in Trinidad on this reel, this same reel here. Right now it has, um, I think, 20 pound braid on it. So this is the Pen Pursuit. 4,000 size. This is real. I recommend rod and reel combo. I recommend for a starter. I mean, a lot of people like to go a little cheaper when you're starting off fishing. You're not sure, but for artificials, I like to at least recommend something that will give you um, some bang for your buck or give you it make fishing a little bit enjoyable. And the pen pursuit 3 4,000 for the price, it handles salt water pretty good. My mom wants to use it. You have to go home and wash it off like all your gears. So once you using the salt water, go home, give it a good rinse off, and it will last you a long time. The drag is pretty good, the, the reel handle is pretty well, good, it's not that heavy and the combo for the price, 10 pursuit 3 3 4000 combo was fantastic. Again, I, I'll try to get a link and put it in the description below for you guys to look at it. And this one is what I would recommend for a starter with just starting artificials. The 3000 or the 4000 size combo, it will be perfect. And I think uh, it wouldn't break your bank, but it does cost a little bit much, but I just want to get you something that will give you a nice fishing experience with artificials. You need something light, you need something that can hold enough um, light line because 10 to 15 pound is the max you're going to be using and this reel does that. It has the pen pursuit 4, pen pursuit, yeah number 4, that's it out now, I haven't seen it but it should be even better than this, the price will obviously just be a bit higher. I'll put the link for this in the description, a good starter reel, I recommend this way to start with if you could afford it. Remember only buy where you could afford, this is my, you see all my reels are budget reels. At the end, I'll give you some recommendations for some more expensive ones, but this is what I use. I tend to stick to our budget range because, you know, I'm, 
that, that's just that's kind of guy right i don't spend too much on my fishing gears i rough them up but i want something that still lasts all right from that i'm now well from the pen to suit i made a big jump this was the first expensive reload i bought this one was a hundred us dollars i got this on amazon it's a shimano nasi 5000 I, when I checked online, I was looking for a reel around 100 US, nothing more than that. Shimano or Daiwa, the two I was looking at. So I checked out the specs, I like the weight of it, the line capacity, the drag, everything about it. I even like the look of it. And I did some research, read a lot of reviews, and I ended up buying this Shimano Nasi 5000. But the funny thing is, right, before I even got to fish with it, I went on a trip uh, abroad. I was walking along a road carrying it, going to fish for the first time with it, and I slipped and fell and I damaged the reel. Right around here, it was scuffed up. And the line couldn't go out smoothly from it. So, never use it before that. It hit the concrete and got damaged. Yeah, so, it was a bit of a disappointment. So I kind of shelled it for a while, didn't use it. Then one day I picked it up and you know, I, I, someone gave me the idea of taking some sandpaper and just smoothing out the edges. And I did that. I think that was 2018 I got this as well. And I did it, sanded out the edges. And I've been using this reel since then. I caught a really nice look with this recently. I caught some nice fish in Tobago with this. I caught some nice fish offshore with this. Um, I think I caught some mahi mahi with this. I think I caught kingfish with this. This reel is a fantastic reel. Like I said, it's the most expensive reel I bought at the time. I, was like, I think it's maybe at 105 US right now. Um, so it does cost a bit, but the quality of this reel surpasses all that I had before. And I, this is one again, if you could afford it, I recommend it. Before I bought it, I read a lot about it, but I actually use it. I've been using it for four years now. No issues with it. And again, I rough up my gears. I use it in surf, I use it in sand. I, I you know, I push throw it in the boat, whatever it case is. And it's still going strong. Shimano, Nasi 5000. Great reel. I think I have 15 pound test on there now. 15 to 20 pound braid. is the max you put on it. And it does the job you enjoy. Perfect reel for a nice inshore fight. Next up on the list is something I'd even recommend more than the Shimano Nasi. That is the Daiwa BG. Now this one is the Daiwa BG 4000. This was the most expensive reel I bought in Trinidad. Bought this by Mr. Mankey. I think it was 800 at the time. It's something like maybe about that. This is the 4000 size. Um, this reel, I love this reel. Daiwa BG. For bang for your buck money. I think it is the best on the market. The line capacity surpasses the Shimano. The drag, it's sealed, you can fish it in salt water, it's pretty salt water resistant. Don't dunk it of course. Once you use it, give it a good wash off and this reel will last a long, long time. I was doing some servicing and I kind of damaged the handle. So I haven't used it for a while, but I actually recently bought this Comexas power knob handle. It's beautiful, check it out. Check that handle, still spinning. So I bought this, put it on, so I'm ready to start back using this. I'll put a link for this below as well, if you have any reels, I think it works for the Daiwa, some pens, some, some Shimano's. This this handle, I'll pick him a little bit and, and start it, and get one of these handles. I think it was like 35 US for it, but it's real bad. So this is the Daiwa BG4000. That's 15 pound test on this again. I caught my best ever fish with this in Tobago in the surf. That was a snook, maybe about 20 pounds I think it was. It was a monster. This handled it very easily. I took this offshore, I caught Mahi Mahi with it. Um, I caught Blackfin Tuna. I've got, uh, I'm not sure if I've fished with a kingfish before, but it handles excellently. This can catch almost any fish, um, up to 20, 30, 40 pounds, tap on, can fight it pretty easy. The drag is excellent, um, and something I definitely recommend. If you get one reel, I think if it, the price weight now might be a little more. I think you get it online for like 105 US, maybe down in Trinidad, Mr. Martin, I have them for around 900, 950 I'm not sure, but I'll put the link below. But if it's one reel and I could afford it, get a Daiwa BG. For inshore, I wouldn't go to the 4,000. I think I went a little bit high, I'd recommend the 3,000. Snook Master Diver BG 3,000 is a little bit lighter, so you can fish it longer and still have all the features um, that you would want if I inshore. I bought this because I want to do inshore slash offshore for the rigs run and the, the tuners, etc. So I bought a slightly bigger size, but if it's strictly for inshore, I'd recommend the 3,000 size. It does a fantastic job, it's a great reel. Diver BG cannot go wrong with it. Alright, so before I get into my most expensive reel, I'm going to show you one that I love using most these days. This one is another Daiwa. This is the Daiwa Fuego LT2500. As I've kept on fishing, 
the size of my reel for the intro has kept coming smaller and smaller because it's more it's more, like more fight you get to the fish it's more sport I mean so I don't need like if I recommend if you start, you start no starting these are 4,000 size 3,000 size you start to enjoy fishing a little bit more you want a little more fight and also concerned about catching catching fish and you want a little some more action you can scale down this one's at 2500 Daiwa Fuego LT this is fantastic reel for intro it's very light it's a lot lighter than the BG I mean, it's not the best if I didn't pick a fish, like maybe like a 15 pound tap one. It gets some flex in the handle if you're using it. But if you're doing the inshores for small snook, small tap one, small jacks, snappers, um, things like that, it's fantastic. I've also used it for alavi fishing because alavi fishing, you don't need much uh, strength and resistance, right? Have a, just have a good drag, let the kingfish or the carry run a little bit, and just bring it in slowly and surely. So, and that's why it does have some mono on this. It has braid underneath, but the top shot of mono is about maybe 50 yards because I want to do alavi fishing with it. Just see, I didn't get to do any alavi fishing, but I went on two or three trips trying to do it, but we got no bait. So this reel is a bit expensive too, I think maybe just under 100 US for the size, but it's a fantastic reel for inshore fishing game. Like I said, when you start to get more into the artificials and you want to scale down and have a lot more action, this is the one I recommend you get, Daiwa Fuego LT. It's fantastic and it's on your rod. Again, I'll do another video with the rods. This is a Johnny Morris rod, it's not really a sold with a rod, but I love these rods. Um, I'll do another video to talk about it, but this is not a six foot six. So if you get this reel, six foot six, maybe seven foot max, is we could pick with it. And it's the best thing for inch of light tackle. Just before we go to the most exp the more expensive reels, I'm gonna show you this one as well. This is actually a Johnny Morris 2000 size reel. So like I said, let's keep them coming down. Um, one of my good partners, he actually went there when he was working bass for shop. So that's how I have the Johnny Morris rods and the reels. He got it at very good prices and these reels are excellent. I mean, they're made for fresh water. So this I only use like if you're going on intro missions for like tap one on snook in the tap one canal or somewhere like the Carney River Bank, somewhere I'm not going full salt water because I don't want to get salt water on this reel too much. It's not made for that. So once I use it, I'll have to wash it out as best as possible. This is a 2000 size and I have 8 pound braid on here. So the fight on this for those inshore fish is fantastic. I'll still put a link on this if I could get one. Um, I think it's Bass Pro Shops for you below. Um, but again, I wouldn't recommend this for the average fish one because it's not made for salt water and it should not be mostly fish salt water. This one I just got it, like I said, because I had a good partner working at Bass Pro Shops. So I bought it. It works excellently. But not, again, it's not something I'd recommend that they get for fishing in Trinidad. And, and it's a 2,000 size. So let's keep on coming now. I think I have 1,000 size too. Okay, so now to my most expensive reel I've ever bought. This right here, it is a beauty. This is the Daiwa BG MQ, the new style of Daiwa BGs. I love the BG so much. When I was going to up my game, I have a few choices to make. I had the Daiwa Ballistic, and to add some other Daiwas, I had Shimano, Saragossa, as well as, but I chose to go to the Daiwa BG. The price for this one is about 200 US, maybe 220 US, I think, is, is what it goes for. This is the most expensive reel I've ever bought. It's twice the price of any other reel I've ever bought before. I mean, of course, there are reels a lot more expensive than this, like the, 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 the better quality divers, like the Sirtate and the, the Shimano, um, Strad, Stradex, Stradex have some new ones, the Vanford, the Shimano, Stellas, a lot more expensive. But for this, this, this reel right here is what I think I don't need anything more than this to catch any fish in Trinidad waters. Um, big top one, big jack. Big snook is handling almost anything I think. Right now there's 30 pound braid on here and I use this usually when I go with Brett that's what I throw my bigger laws on. I was where I really bought it to use in Tobago when you have the big top one coming in show. I have used the Daiwa BG before, I hooked one of them, I think it was maybe 50 or 60 pounds and he started to spool the BG, the 4000 size, so I know how to up the game out of it. So this one's a 6000 Daiwa BG MQ 6000 with 30 pound braid. I think this can handle almost any size of fish in trying to bigger waters. Maybe if you get the tap ones in the 100 to 150 pound range, it might be a little bit much for this. But we're not really fishing for them or targeting them. Usually, targeting them in artificials, maybe up to 50, 60 pounds is the max it go. And this would handle that. It's handling any cavalli, any jack, any jack raval, handling it with ease. I've also used this offshore for mahi mahi. I caught quite a few nice size mahi mahi in the 50 to 20 pound range with it. Handled it very easy. No problems whatsoever. The drag is perfect. Uh, the strength feels solid. That's one thing with the Taiwa BGs. It's very solid, and the line capacity is fantastic. 
So if you have the funds and you want to really up your game, or if you know, I actually bought this because my wife gave me a gift certificate. I so I ended up going towards this more expensive reel because I've never spent over hundred dollars on a reel before. This one is two twenty. So if you have that money, if you get a gift certificate and you want to buy one, I can recommend this one. I mean, have the others. It have the Daiwa Ballistic is the next great one. Uh, it have a few others. It have the, the Shimano Vanford. It have the Shimano Stratix. All those are very good. But for me, I love the Daiwa BG and the Daiwa BG MQ with all the new features, the strength, the durability. It's fantastic. I fully recommend it. And like I said, inshore, big fish inshore, this is all you would need. Now, I have used it offshore already and it's performed fantastically. All right, so this is my most expensive reel. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the reels that I currently own. Don't want to make the video too long. I'll put all the specs for all the reels as I have them up while I'm talking about them. So hopefully you see all of those. I'll also put links for all the reels below. Hopefully I have Amazon links for all of them. Go through and buy them there. If Mr. Monkey have it, I'll put it in the comments below. You can go and buy it from him. He has the best prices. Oh yeah, let's add one more reel to show you guys. That's one thing you guys would have seen this in quite a few videos. Uh, this is my Daiwa BG6500. Um, I bought this to jig with. I mean, it's not really the best jigging reel. I didn't want to buy a reel specific to jigging because if I jig maybe once or twice for the year, I'd go to the rigs and jig. So I don't want to buy a reel just to use once or twice. So that's why I bought the 6500. If you're jigging, it should probably use something probably bigger, like an 8000 or 10,000 size. The new the Daiwa BGMQs have some good ones for jigging. But I bought this before that came out. And the price of it again, I think it was a hundred and something USD. This is the biggest reel that I had. 65 pound braid on there and it works fantastic for jigging. If you hook a big fish, you go rough you up and it could boost you off. But again, you can still use this reel to cast from the boat um, for big tarpon and things like that. You can use the cast from the shore. It's a little bit heavy, but you can still use it for, um, to make a, quite a few casts as well. You can still fish with it. But the BGs are sealed pretty good from the salt water. So this is a way I can pass slightly bigger reel through some slightly, like even banking. I use this for banking, like we go banking in deep, 300 feet, 500 feet. You can use this as well. Looking for a slightly bigger reel, again, the Daiwa BG. Fantastic, fantastic buy. All right, guys, so. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. First one I've done like this for a long, long time. I haven't been able to get up much on fish, so I just thought it was a sit down video. Show you all the reels that I currently own. Oh, I graduated from the Spyrex. Now straight up to the. Daiwa BGMQ. Spyrex, Daiwa BGMQ. It looks totally different, performs different. And like I said, as you go up in the fishing game, you can always start to improve your gears. You don't want to start off with the fanciest things. Uh, you can start off with something that's basic and continue to go up from there once you start to enjoy your sport more. As you can see from me personally, I don't spend a lot on my gear. I mean, there are reels that are four times the price of this 400, 500 dollars. They are fantastic reels. But don't get me wrong, I fish with a few of them. But now ZZ has some, uh, when you fish with them, it's like fishing with super A-class stuff and it, it kind of spoils you. But again, if you can't afford it, that's okay. Get one of these, these if, even if these are out of your price range, start with something cheaper. The pen pursuit tree, something you can start with and you can start to build from there. Like I said, I didn't start off with the most expensive. Now I have a $200 reel. Maybe eventually I might have a $400 reel. I don't know if I'll ever go from that. I don't think I need anything more than that. But again, fishing is a sport that you can enjoy with almost anything. Just don't be afraid to try it. And like I said, you don't need to get something expensive. Shimano Nasi, 100 US, you get a pay per day. Tire BG, 100 US, probably get a pay per day. Or save up. And if you're working somewhere, put aside something every week. And maybe at the end of three months, months, just go and give yourself a nice little surprise for working so hard and buy yourself a new reel, a new rod on reel, and start fishing. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this video with all my reels that I currently own. I'll try to do one for you with your rods sometime soon. If you guys want to see that, just comment below and I'll try to get it done faster rather than later. But thanks for also watching guys. Again, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully back out on the water soon and see some more fishing content. Remember all the links for all the reels are below. Any questions, feel free to come ask me below. I'll respond to you. I always respond to all YouTube comments. I try my best. Facebook and Instagram, not so much, but YouTube for sure. I respond to the comments. So any questions you have on any reels, feel free to ask me below and I'll respond to you. Remember just to always keep fishing. Always keep fishing, fish on.